Hey everybody, this is a tutorial on installing Git and getting a GitHub account and configuring Git so that you can use it with the workflows that we describe at TilburgScienceHub.com. So the first thing I'll do is I head um, uh, to the Tilburg Science Hub website and go to the Git installation instructions. These um, are always being updated, so make sure you're using the most recent instructions. So um, one thing that we advise you to get is a GitHub account uh, by following um, the registration link. It directly uh, points you to the um, page. Um, uh, here we proceed actually installing Git on your local computer. Just click on the installation link, choose your operating system, wait for the download to complete, and then follow the installation procedures. Um, I'm opening it right now and just click on next and accept the default settings. Um, and um, I just keep on using the default settings over here. Um, and when I'm done, Git is installed on my computer. There is a whole bunch of things to tell about Git and to teach about Git. Um, TilburgScienceHub.com uh, has all the details. Um, I'll just show you to verify that you have installed Git correctly. And um, um, I'm finalizing the installation. So when you have installed Git correctly, if you're heading to any directory on your system, for instance, um, a project folder in your documents folder and you right click and choose you know you see these two git icons over here git uh, graphical user interface here or git bash here you know that um, git has been probably pro properly installed in your system let me just head back to tilburgsciencehub.com to see whether there are any other instructions but I think um, we've just completed the most basic instructions on how to set up git on your computer um, uh, make sure to also follow our tutorial on actually using git but so far um, you've successfully installed git so thanks for watching